you'll be working with them. All right. So today we are going to be going over. Um, we're going to be starting our unit about weather. Okay. Um, we're going to be starting our unit about weather. So um, today we're going to be going over weather measurement tools. Tomorrow we're going to be going over clouds. Um, Wednesday we're going to be going over what does a meteorologist do and um, weather map charts. Yes, sir. What does a meteorologist do? I don't know. We'll find out Wednesday. I know. <laughs> um, I can't see. What's going to happen? So then after that, on Thursday we're going to be going over key vocabulary and a study guide. And then Wednesday we're, or Friday we're going to have a quiz. Yes, sir. Well, hold that for a minute. Um, so today we are going to be going over um, weather measurement tools. So while I'm getting the PowerPoint ready, I want you all to talk with your shoulder partner or someone around you for about 30 seconds what three ways you would use a thermometer. What three ways you would use a thermometer? Go ahead and go. Okay, 
So today we are going to be talking about um, thermometers as well as five other um, weather measurements. We're going to be getting to that. So, meet Mr. Mayor High. This is the was an inventor for the first thermometer. Um, his interest in science caused him to experiment in the way we record temperatures. So before him, they were just out, you know, outside. They were like, well, I don't really know. I know it's hot, but I don't really know what temperature it is. Because, mm -hmm, but they couldn't, like, get, like, a scientific, like, number to it. They couldn't put, like, a number to it that if they did it somewhere else and tried it somewhere else, it would be able to do give the same results. Okay. All right, um, so he was like, okay, can you imagine, like, when you looked at the weather channel, if they were just like, instead of saying, it was 52 degrees outside today, if they were just say, it's kind of coldish hot. Huh? I'm like, see, now you're talking. They just, it's just kind of coldish hot. See, that would be a little bit harder to understand. So they used these numbers. He tried to figure out a way with these numbers. He used mercury inside a thermometer because the heat caused it to expand. What does expand mean? Do it with your hands. What does mercury mean? Oh, what does expand mean? Oh, and to rise up, and the cold causes it to compress. Show me what compress means. Compress and go down the scale. This gave him an accurate way to record different temperatures. What's mercury? Hand. Yes, ma'am. What's mercury? Mercury is a substance that they have in thermometers. Um, you might notice that nowadays they don't they don't always use mercury in their thermometers because when little kids were taking their temperatures, they would bite down on it and they would get mercury poisoning. So they kind of moved away from it. Um, so his many experiments led him to discover that the water freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh wait, 32 degrees Fahrenheit, and it boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. So we use Fahrenheit in America. Um, in other countries, they use Celsius, and also in dirt, for science, we use Celsius. So here's Mr. Celsius, another handsome individual. Um, Andrew Celsius invented the Celsius of the great thermometer. Oh, wait. What? I don't know. That's not really him. All right. So, um, he... What? So, guys, if you have a question, I need you to raise your hand. Yes. Are these real people? These are real people. Andrew Celsius is a real person. This cartoon is just clip art that I inserted into this PowerPoint. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, after this lesson, I will show you what these people really look like. That will make it easier. Okay. So, Andrew Celsius submitted the Celsius for centigrade thermometer. Uh, it was, and he did it about 29 years after Mr. Fahrenheit. So, this guy was like, well, Mr. Fahrenheit did this, but Mr. Celsius, Mr. Celsius was like, well, I'm going to do it different way. Yes, I am. Well, I mean, if you think about it, think about computers. So, the computers, somebody made a basic computer, and then somebody built on that idea, correct? So, it's kind of like that. All right, Celsius so called a cell scale centigrade, meaning 100 steps. The word cent means what? One job like that, like those holy little ones. Mm, add two zeros to that. 100. It means 100. At that time, most of the world called this invention Swedish thermometer. After many experiments, he figured that freezing temperature for water is 0 degrees, and boiling temperature is 100 degrees. Um, this is used during science because it's easier for math, um, for math situations. So they, it's a lot easier to remember that water is freezing at zero degrees and it boils at 100 degrees than water boils at, or mm. freezes at 32 degrees and boils at 212 degrees. All right? Um, so this is used for science because it's easier to do with numbers and that way it's consistent amongst all countries. All right. So now what you all are going to be doing is... Um, make sure you are listening with your listening ears because this is very important. Um, you all are going to be looking at these packets I gave you. Um, each, there are six different articles that talk about six different weather instruments. You will not have to read all of this. Um, I will assign your partner pair group 
one of these articles. You are going to find the important information in this article. You are going to partner read. Then you are going to answer the question on the box. Um, then I will have you all make a poster. And you will present, after you've made the poster, you will then present out um, the four key facts that you put on it. So, but when people are presenting, like say Diane and Ishmael were doing anemometers, let's say you did anemometers, you made the poster. While they're presenting, I'm going to be like highlighting some of the information or underlining some of the information that I think is important too, that maybe they touched on. And then I'm going to be giving you one minute to answer this question underneath it. Um, they are allowed to ask you questions. I will allow 30 seconds after their presentation is done for them to, for you all to be able to answer different groups' questions. Does anyone have any questions about what we're doing? Diane. Well, if you remember it, I'll come back to you. You might. So, we go to so down? Yes. So, Kari and Tyshonda have anemometers. Um, DeWitt and Zariah have thermometers. Bria and Nehemiah have barometer. Um, Diane and Ishmael have wind vane. Um, Davion and Kyron have rain gauge. Um, Kamara, will you mind coming in with one of these groups to work with? And Leon and Erico have anemometer. So, um, yes. So Leon and Erico will end up going and working when it's time to make the poster with Kari and Tyshawn. Is that clear? Oh, we work with them. Um, it's time for the uh, okay. presentation. So does anybody have any questions? I am. We are doing this. A, what? Sure. Um. We are doing this a little differently so that you all are able to teach each other. This way there is less teacher talk and more student talk. Um, well, if you all have any questions, that's what I'm here for. I'm going to be facilitating this learning because you all learn more from yourselves, from teaching each other, than somebody just lecturing you. Yes, ma'am. What was that big S word you used? What? Facilitating? Yeah, I mean S word. Facilitating means that I will be here to help and support and be able to be like, and asking you all questions to kind of further your thinking, but I'm not going to say, okay, here you go. You do this, this, and this. You answer this, this, and this question, and here's me just lecturing the whole time. And no, it works. All right. You all have about, um, I would say that you have about five minutes, six minutes to read and answer the question and pick out your um, important details. Then you have about 10 minutes to make your posters, and then we are going to be going towards our presentation. You might. Go. Oh, really? Can I come back here? So you all should be partnering.
please. Oh, we got a door. Hold it. Each 
person's handwriting on this chart. I need to see each person handwriting on this chart, please. So I need to see you say if it's Bria's poster and Nehemiah's poster. I need to see Nehemiah's handwriting and Bria's handwriting. I need to see Diane's handwriting and Ishmael's handwriting. Uh oh. Uh oh.
Make sure you are staying focused. This is not staying focused. Make sure you are focused. We are finished. You are finished? When you are finished, I, I want everybody in slam. That is how I know you're be done. Put the poster on top of your desk, sit in slam, and wait for us to fall on you. Jimmy on 
Okay, so the question on wind vanes is what are two ways a wind vane is useful? So you need to answer that now while I am getting another group prepared to present. Diane, you can take it down and go put it on that back window. The next group will be Bria and Nehemiah. Woo! 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 <laughs> After this one, we're going to do the good job. Good job. After this one, we're going to do the good job. Good job. Okay, in five. Four, three, two, one. It is now Bria and Nehemiah's time to present. A barometer.
Call a double voice, please. Get my friends over there. Can I get sent to the bathroom? I'll pee. Yeah, she may. <laughs> 